Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. And today I have the distinct pleasure to interview today the owner of Rocky Mountain Pet Shop, which is a pet shop located in downtown Aspen. Ross Etlin is the owner. Ross, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me. Pleasure, thank you. Um, so Ross, for people that don't know about your pet shop or people coming to visit, can you, can you describe a little bit about your business? Well, honestly, uh, the pet shop's been there for 50 years. Oh, okay. And, 50? Five yeah, 50 zero? years. Five zero. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so it's, um, it's a long, it's an old school Aspen business. I don't try to be a fancy, you know, expensive pet shop. I really, my goal is, is to be a normal pet shop in Aspen, you know, and because I'm the only pet shop, I really try to sell everything. For, I sell guinea pig food and I sell, uh, you know, things for fish and, and rodents and, and not just dogs and cats. So I really just try to be a, you know, shop for everyone and, uh, and to keep it normal and not real expensive. And that's my whole plan. I love your shop. Do you still have the tub in the back, by the way, where you could wash your own pet? Sure do. Yep. I yeah. Self-service dog wash. So we can do the wash sometimes for a fee, but, um, but generally it's a self-service. You just come in and use it and, and it's a, it, it really makes life a lot easier. Yeah. Well, you do have a lot of good products in your store. Um, you know, when I wanted to do these interviews, Ross, as I explained to you, I really wanted to during this time because so many people have been affected with COVID-19, uh, specialize on businesses that are open and servicing our community. People are going to be coming out here. I hear that, uh, this is not stopping people from coming to visit. And I wanted to ask you how you've had to shift your business or anything that you want to share um, on how you've been able to service the community or will be servicing the community during COVID-19. Well, you know, I've tried to keep it as normal as possible, but of course have adapted to the new reality. Um, so I limit the number of people that come in. We've got hand sanitizer, tissues all over the store. Um, you know, really keeping distance, wearing masks, all that great stuff. I also, um, I never really had an online store for my website, but I added that to my, um, my website, RockyMountainPetShop.com. So you can go online and you can order delivery or pick up in the store. Yeah. And I have most of my products listed there on the website. And so I did, I set that up like an emergency, like, oh no, I've, you know, because people want delivery and people want to pick things up and not come in the store. So that's fine. You can also call in and place an order and we're happy to, you know, bring it out for you. And so minimal contact, don't have to come in the store, that sort of thing. But uh, I try to keep it as normal as I can. That was really smart. So people would be able to find if they wanted to order a product and have it delivered. Like for, for example, I'm in Snowmass. Uh, you just go to your website. That's where you'll find it. Yep. Yep, there's a shop now page on my website. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, people are having to change with the times. And is there any um, either memorable experience or something interesting about the business that people don't know about that you think might be interesting to share? Well, that's an easy question because I met my wife at the business. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that was a big thing for me. But yeah, I met my wife and uh, she's a local dog trainer. And we just kind of clicked, and it's actually a kind of a funny story. If you want to hear it real quick? I would, I would like to hear, and I'm sure people out there would like to hear it too. This is not for me. This is for the community and whoever's going to see this. So, yeah, go ahead. So she came in the store, and she asked if there was any dog trainers in the area. And at the time, I, I had some dog trainers, but they'd all moved on. And so I told her, I'm really sorry. I, I can't give you any numbers to, for dog trainers. And she said, great. I'm going to be your new dog trainer. I live in Ohio, but I'm going to move to Aspen and I'm going to be your new dog trainer. And I said, good luck, kid. And I said, uh, oh, I said, I called her a dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, six years later, we've been married for five years now. And yeah. So well, that sounds like a match made in heaven. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. It really is nice. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so the other thing I want to ask you, thank you for sharing that story. I like that story a lot. Uh, is there, you know, for people that are here locally, such as myself and people that are going to be coming out, um, how long have you lived in the Valley? I've been here about 30 years. 
30 years. Okay, so you know this place inside and out. Um, are there any particular, I know things are sort of closed at the moment with restaurants, but as far as restaurants go or activities, either something that you think a local shouldn't miss or people that are coming out this summer, besides of course getting their pet food from Rocky Mountain Pet Shop, <laughs> are there any other activities or restaurants that you think people shouldn't miss while they're here? Maybe two or three that come to mind? Well, I was thinking that, um, you know, you can take your dog on the gondola. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of people know that. You can, you know, take them up the gondola, or you can also hike up and then come down for free with your dog. Right. So I thought that was a great thing that, um, of course, I'd like to know. And, um, you know, and also I'm going to pimp out my wife. She's the local dog trainer. So, uh, you know, if you need dog training, she's really a great dog trainer, and she's she's the, the dog trainer in in the valley here so i really you know respect her and I think she does a great job with the dogs i got we get a lot of great feedback with her dog training so well let's give her a look. Let's, let's say the name of her company well it's endless possibilities and uh you can just call the rocky mountain pet shop or you can find her online i think it's endless possibilities.com dot biz it's oh, aspen dog training well, maybe, is our website, maybe, too, maybe, maybe I can get Farah on camera at another time, maybe next week. I'll reach out to you, Farah. I want to get you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, and do you guys have like one or two favorite restaurants that you like to go to that is like a not to be missed? Well, what's that? A oh, White House. We love White House Tavern uh -huh. and we like uh, Bosque. We go there a lot, too. Cool. Yeah, you know, I haven't been um, here yet. <clears throat> Anyway, Ross, uh, which one? Are we saying uh, La Hosteria? Oh, La Hosteria. And Bosque. So White House, Bosque, La Hosteria, all good, all good choices. Yeah. Um, all right, Ross, thank you so much. And Fair, I know you're hiding behind there, but we'll see you soon on another interview. Thank you so much for taking the time. And if you're seeing this, shop local. Reach out to Rocky Mountain Pet Shop. Ross, thank you so much for taking the time. We'll talk Thanks, to you soon. Sir. Bye. All right, appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.